Hello, pleasant welcome to the Accra Sports Stadium. It's venue for the final game to wrap up with 30 of the Ghana Premier League and it's the Royals, Legon City, up against the Phobians, Accra Hat Sabok. This game has a lot at stake with the Phobians doing catch up. Yesterday, Kotoko went up on the league log at 56 points after beating Karela. Hasabok are left on second with 53 points and there's a lot at stake for this evening's match. My name is Nana Dakwa Jesse together with our stream switch of fair, we are your commentators for this evening's game here in Accra. Yeah, big game it is for these two sides, especially for Accra the folk. They have got their eyes on the big prize, winning the Premier League, realizing that Kotoko won yesterday. They know that they are in second place. Now, by a win today, it takes them back to the top, even before the big game on Sunday. It's a big one. Very big game. Don't mind where Legon City's are lying on the league log. They are 10th on the log. They lost their place on the night today after Ashanti Gold beat Liberty in Sogakope. The teams have emerged out of the tunnel. Big players missing in this action as well. You can look through for Hattafuk, which will get to the lineups pretty shortly. So for Legon City's four changes to the team that lost to Karela in Anyanase. There's a place for Nicolas Mensah who comes in. There's no place for Nat Aqua. Foster Brahma is in for Adonoya. Adebayo comes in to take the place of Matthew and Imkujo. Jonah Atukwe also comes in to join the fray as he takes the place of Sefas Doku. Yeah, it's, it's a four, it's a three back system. It's a three four three from Bashi Hayford and it, it could be as well a three, a, a three four one two. Looking at Adebayo playing behind Jonah Atukwe and Richmond entry. So Hatsabok have made three changes to the team that beat Windy Professionals on Sunday. Ibrahim Salifu is in for Emmanuel Nete. And Caleb Amakwa drops to the bench. His place is taken by Mohamed Al Hassan. And Denchi drops to the bench. His place is taken by Radio Buke. Free year of being Junior Razaga leading the attack for some of Wodu's charges. Yeah, it's been the system that he's deployed in recent weeks, which has fed him lots of results. Some of Wodu. 4 3 3. But expecting the front to be to go very narrow and it's Patrick Razak who has earned himself a place in the starting 11 over Isaac Mensah. Weissman Ganza whistles for the commencement of the game here in Accra. Legon City is up against Anaya. Here is Daniel Afriya Barnier. Now Radio Buka. Salifu Ibrahim, brilliant ball to Barnier. Obin Junior strike! Goalkeeper from Sylvester Saki. How many times have we not seen Salif Ibrahim trying to spot Daniel Bani once he made this run? Intelligent run from him, spinning around this man, but it's Salif is ball to think it into him that is brilliant. Bani has all the awareness knowing that Obin Jr. is close to him. Just uses his head to cushion the boy to his path. And the first time of asking on the folly, Obin Jr. strikes it really hard, but down the middle. Anaya, he wastes time now. Here is Fatal. Sends a cross. Goalkeeper misses now, Bin Jr. at the end of it. Goes back to Salifu who finds Obuka. Obuka goes for glory and is a goal kick. Ten minutes to Saki. Samuel Bodo wants the advantage with the heart of throw and quickly taken. Salifu Ibrahim nearly. The opener for the Phobians. Reflection of his own player seems to have just come off him and the ball was spinning into the far corner there. Yeah, slight deflection of it, but you had to see it on Mensa. Jonah Tukwe is caught against Atsavok in the first round. He finds Richmond entry. He stays on side. Cast on to his left entry. No problem for Richard Atta. And we couldn't see the pass from there, but it was a brilliant pass to begin with. Because it's very left footed, it didn't really want to fancy take ball. And it's cleared away by Nasiri Moro onto Jonah Tukwe. That's what to find Victoria at the bio. Up against Robert Addo. Trying to create space at the bio. The woodwork. Brilliant yeah. attempt from at the bio. No, once at the bio is in that space, you don't want him to come to his left. You want to force him onto his right. But look at the defense of Atta. They are backing off. Atta is beaten. It's an incredible effort. At the bio does everything right to create the space for himself. He's calling that one into the top corner. Goalkeeper can reach it. Hatsafuk have been saved by the woodwork. My question marks about the defending here. Yeah, the boy is very left-footed. 
He can't offer so much on his right. Not sure what. Benjamin Afutu to Fatal Mohammed. Now Patrick Razak. Ball onto the part of Daniel Banye. Oh, beautiful work. Pass. Mensa Banye. Brilliant. Kajabi Jr. His ninth goal of the season. Has Samoka up by 1-0. And all credit will go to Daniel Banye Freie. Brilliant stuff from Arthabok. Just magical. Magical. Magical from Badia. Really magical. Krasak. Take a look at Patrick Krasak here. At this point, he's looking for the run for Banya. Banya is very much onside here. But it's about the calmness. It's about the coolness in his head. Defender commits himself. But take a look at this for a skill. Look at that for a balance. For the presence of mind. To just use that little space available to him. And then generate or make this goal happen is just world class it's just brilliance all over from Bani, a player who's in real form now he left Nicholas Mensah for dead, puts on the place for his strike partner, Obey Jr and there you have it it's Daniel Efriye Bani, he's the man, the goal is from Obey Jr, but the man is Daniel Efriye Bani, he is the man 30 of the Ghana Premier League title chasers that's the book against Legon City. Here is Obin Jr. Daniel Banye! My goodness! Flag had gone up for offside, but the downside of Banye's game. It's an aspect of the game that has to improve. Was he offside? No way. By any means, is he offside? But he and Patrick Razai stayed onside. Patrick Razai can see. as sweet as that, as clean as that, as crisp as that, and as perfect as that. Take a look at that. That is just... Adebayo! Taking free kick. Oh, what a game. He's scoring that. Victoria Adebayo. He's, he's not looking at crossing it. He's looking at scoring. It's an effort on goal. Both of are taking a little deflection on Ansa Poche, who was in the... And Wiseman Ganza has whistled to bring... That's serious ball to... Hatsabok nearing the third. What a brilliant clearance. It all started from this header from Afuti. Defenders can't deal with it. The first attempt to clear it is poor. The second one is poor because Nicholas Mensah not, didn't get the shouts from the goalkeeper. He should have left it for the goalkeeper to collect it. I'm not sure you knew he was arriving. It's an interesting foot race between the two of them. Entry is up against Fatal. Sets up Adebayo. Straight to reach Shadota. The thinking was good. And at the bottom, look at the run he's making. Everybody's pointing at somebody to take the responsibility, but nobody's taking the responsibility to get on the blind side of Moa Haas and pull the trigger first time. Foot up against Isaka. Salifu was looking for Bani, he was unlucky. Abin Jr.'s shot blocked by Daniel K. I mean, Abin Jr. Is Salifu looking for the dink over the top for Bani. Bani again, the ball hits the back of his head. Then the, the shots from that second strike of some sort, playing very narrow. Oboka's free kick, header down by Afutu, straight to Saki. This one Afutu couldn't get it right. Yeah, he's the target Afutu. Take a look at the leap on this man there. He's strong when he climbs. Nobody can beat him to it. The... Referee whistles. At the bio steps forward. But to... a bounce before Atta would not be boarded. Yeah, it's a weak effort. No troubles for the goalkeeper. Time for Hatsafok now to regroup in. Final whistle in Accra. Hatsafok are back on top of the league loss. Full time score in Accra. Lego City's one. Hatsafok two.